Politics is expected to take center stage with various by-elections taking the better part of the first quarter in 2021. If we handle 2021 badly, then 2022 might not be a very good year for us. But uh, this year is going to be a dress rehearsal because, number one, it's uh, for the first quarter of the year, we have got a num numerous by-elections, uh, of course. Uh, times have been bad to us as a nation and we've lost a number of leaders. So uh, IBC is trying to force a lot of by-elections to end within the first quarter of this particular year because they have got BBI to deal with. First up will be the Nairobi gubernatorial race in February following the ouster of Governor Mike Sonko in late December. This is in line with the constitutional requirement which places a time frame of 60 days for an election to be conducted. The battle will pit Kieleweke faction of Jubilee and ODM against that of Tangatanga who have since declared that they will field a candidate in the race. Up next will be the by-election in various wards around the country. These include Huruma in Wasingishu, Hellsgate and London Ward in Nakuru County, Kiakoma in Kisi and Kisike in Makweni. They are slated for the 4th of March this year. The people of Kabuchai are also expected to elect their new member of parliament on the same date. The seat became vacant following the death of James Lusweti. Also on the list is Matungu by election, which was declared vacant following the death of its member of parliament, Justice Murunga. 2021 is going to be filled with a lot of uh, uh, a, 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 a politics in it. And if what we've seen uh, towards the end of 2020 is anything to go by, we expect a lot of uh, a, pol a very political charge atmosphere come 2021. The by-elections are turning out are informing some people if they can oppose BBI or they can support BBI. It's in a way actually like uh, exposing the underbellies of, uh, is showing the strength and weaknesses of different actors. So based on how the by-elections turn out, then uh, it will actually inform even how people then organize and work around BBI. On the 24th of March, all eyes will be on Machakos County as residents elect their new senator following the death of Boniface Kabaka in December of last year. Focus, however, will be on key battleground constituencies in the western region with analysts believing that it will not be a replica of the Msambweni contest. An independent candidate allied to the deputy president beat ODM in what was thought and understood to be their stronghold. Now, we are moving to Matungu. After winning in Msambweni, I know that particular arm is quite buoyed by the success and they will want to replicate that. Uh, you know, the Rolling Stone gathers no more uh, concept. The BBI campaigns are then expected to take center stage immediately after the by elections. The bill will then be in the August House undergoing debate. The referendum process, which pundits say could take place before June, however, may see major political realignments ahead of the 2022 general elections. Once we hit the pinnacle of the referendum and thereafter, the new alignments and the new alliances will have taken shape. And those alliances, or whatever it will be, merging out or coming out of uh, the referendum or BBI, is what will take us all the way to 2022. Pandits believe that the outcome of the referendum might result in elections being held in December or in a worst case scenario, the country might not even be able to hold an election in 2022. IBC should be given at least two years to prepare for an election. How an IBC that has just come from uh, BBI and uh, is just worked through the the boundaries review will be ready for elections next year is a question that all of us know that they might not be in a very good position to actually like uh, competently handle the uh, the elections next year more intriguing is the flexing of political muscles between odm leader raila odinga and deputy president william ruto william ruto has made clear his intentions to vie for the presidency with odinga's options remaining anyone's guess. So at this point, and Raila has, Honorable Raila has known how to play our Kenyan politics. And that's why I'm saying he's not a politician of being repute, is that he knows when to, he knows when to go for it. All right. So I think the issue we should be talking about is a matter of, 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 of when, not if. So there's still a possibility of having a Kikuyu candidate on the ticket and winning the election. That one we do not know who it is because uh, President, uh, according to the constitution, the president cannot run again, so his term ends this time round. So far, the clothes are already out and political machination in full gear with the climax expected with the referendum process. Martin Opio, K24 TV.